everyone welcome back to another episode of sip and review my name is Chantel and today I will be doing a commentary on put a ring on it season one episode six feeding the flames so this is a long review guys I'm going to try my hardest to make it as quickly as possible therefore I will be jumping right into it let's get started Let's talk about Michael and Shay. So, Michael said yes to a third date with Whitney, clearly. Michael won't say a woman that will accept his son and be a stepmom. So, of course, rightfully so, Shay was pissed off. Shay just might ghost him again, guys. You know she has ghosted him several times. She's not very pleased with the fact that her man wants to go on the third date with another woman. <clears throat> and she should not be happy about that situation. Shay, it is time for her to go on her date. And she was looking good. And Michael was upset that she's looking nice for a date. Shay had on black dress. That was cut out on the size. Girlfriend was not wearing a bra nor panties. Nothing but the dress, okay? So, Michael was not feeling it at all. You know, Shay, she does what she can to get a rise out of Michael. She wants to see how he's going to react because she feels like, you know, a man showing, you know, how jealous he is or what that's a way of him showing affection for her. And that's what she see it as. Whitney and um Michael. So, you know he already said that he wanted another date with Whitney. So why are you getting mad because Shay's going on a date with someone? And and I feel like, yeah, Shay, you need to look extra, extra, extra nice, okay, for your blind date. Excuse me, because Whitney might be just replacing you. So you need to have another option, girlfriend, because he's talking about third date with another woman. Now, I don't recommend you not wearing no brighter panties on the first date, no. They can't send the wrong signal, okay? So, and give a bad impression of you to your date let's talk about Rick and Shay they're on their date and Rick said that he loves the curves of a woman and so that's what he was saying in his discussion so we get to the point to where Rick finally knocks on the door Mike opened the door and he told Rick that he was too light-skinned. Laughing my ass up. Does Mike feel threatened by the light-skinned brother? I don't know, Michael. Michael, but you do need to knock it off, okay? So, I already discussed Shay. You know, her date arrived and he liked what she was wearing. He saw that she's really nice-looking. And I feel like Shay was just trying to get snatched, y'all. She's really trying to get snatched with what she was wearing. And Rick just might not bring her home, okay? He might even bring her home that night because of that fact. So Mike asked Rick to sit down so that he could have a man-to-man -man talk with him. Wow. Done with that tit-for-tat stuff. It's real. Now, Mike wants... For Rick to be respectful because Shay is spoken for in his words. She is spoken for, so you need to be respectful. Now, I haven't heard that saying in a minute. Spoken for is what I'm talking about. So, Rick, basically, don't be disrespectful and keep your hands to yourself. That is what Mike is saying. Rolling on the floor, laughing. Okay, I was weak. Because 
You can ask for a third date, but when Shay gets ready, get all sexy, looking like a snack, you can't handle it. Why don't you cancel your third date since you feel some type of way? Now, boy, bye. Anyway, Rick and Shay are on their date, so Rick is a pro athlete. Rick said that he wants kids, and Shay asked him what makes him want kids because you know Shay really ain't feeling being a mother. Rick said that he wants to make someone better than himself. Um, and so why is she with a man? that has a son if she does not want kids guys that's how I feel about that you don't want kids but you want this man to marry you and he has a son so one of the other needs to happen in this situation shit relationship whatever you want to call it you guys have going on right now because his son is going to be there regardless so Shay did say that she was open to having a family with Rick. I am very surprised that she said that. And she said maybe. <clears throat> so she's still on the fence about that. So Rick exchanged phone numbers with Shay, guys. And Shay said that she really liked him. She thought he was really nice looking. So it seems like she's feeling Rick. And she did ask Rick for that phone number just in case. Michael doesn't meet her deadline to put a ring on it, okay? So it's time for Mike to go on his third date with Whitney. And he said that Whitney glows every time that he sees her. Wow. Wow. So she just might be his future wife, y'all. He might put a ring on her instead of putting a ring on Shay. Mike tells Whitney that Shay still doesn't accept his son. Whitney asks Mike about them dating. If he and Shay breaks up, Michael said that if that's the case, he wants to move on in a respectful way. He does not want to be disrespectful to Shay he basically wants to wait until their relationship is over and done with before he decides to move forward with Whitney okay and I can respect him for that Ashley in Hollywood let's discuss them Hollywood said that his relationship with his mom affects his relationship with Ashley because his mother didn't want any more kids she was a single mother and she was also a woman without a man. His mom made him feel like she didn't want him. She used to uh, make him cry on purpose so that his dad would show up to come and get him. That's what Hollywood was telling Dr. Nicole. Which is very sad. She basically was manipulating her son. Using him as a pawn. For her to see his dad. That's how I feel about that situation. That's what I saw her as doing. Using her own son as a pawn. Form of manipulation. And it's sad to be manipulating a five year old like that. Now. He said that his mother also left him. In the park by himself at the age of five, she would drop him off and just leave him there. Very, very poor parenting. Parents, duly note, the way that you treat your kids will affect their relationship when they become adults, okay? You go, you go out and meet these women and because of your childhood was all jacked up, you know, you mistreat your significant other and I'm not just talking about a man women do it as well to men okay so this is not a one-sided thing it happens in both sexes now any woman that he meets has to suffer because his childhood was a hot mess and it was filled with our love therefore he doesn't know how to love a woman 
a man's first love is his mother okay and that's just facts it's his mother Hollywood is going on his blind date with Tasha Hollywood was thanking God for having two pretty women with ass that he was dating he had all you know two good looking women by his side and he was just cheesed up no one could tell him anything you know he thought his shit did not stink at that moment so as she told Hollywood he could play with her if he wants and he'll have a black eye laughing my ass off so Hollywood is on his date with Tasha Hollywood asks his date what she thinks about him she's told him that he was attractive she said he had a great conversation and she really did like that about him and she also said a date with him was refreshing all right now Ashley Ashley's meeting her date at the famous Cascade Roller Rink guys uh, out here in Atlanta Kwame is from New York and Kwame was talking smack about skating Kwame don't try it do all these people know how to skate boo okay that's like one of the things that we did when I was growing up live that skate rink okay lived okay that was our weekend thing you was either at the skating rink on the weekends or you was at the mall okay so you know me and my best friend that was our thing and well I'm not gonna get into all that but I'm not gonna tell y'all where I'm exactly from I almost told y'all where I was exactly from in New Orleans but I'm not gonna even go there so let's just move on to the topic. Now Kwame, you was talking all that stuff, but you apparently can't skate that well. You can skate a little something, something. You know, you can't crisscross, you can't skate backwards, you can't dance. You was talking too much smack and so say you can't do neither, okay? So Kwame said that he wanted to see Ashley again, guys. When he look at Ashley, his face lights up. So I feel like he thinks that she's a beautiful woman and he really would like more dates with her. So, I feel like they stepped up on this episode, you know. Um, but I can't say the guys that they have been setting Ashley up with, they all have been nice looking so that's a plus you know she hasn't had anyone that was not like nice looking as far as her blind dates goes okay so um tasha she's a date for hollywood right so Tasha pulled up to go on a date with Hollywood and she was just talking so much about um, Ashley. I'm sorry guys, I am so sleepy right now. But she was talking so much about Ashley, she was asking too many dang on questions girl. You supposed to be getting to know Hollywood, not Ashley, you not trying to date. Ashley are you I don't know you may be you made it seem like you was more interested in the woman than a man in my opinion and that was such a turn off for Hollywood and I don't blame him I would have been completely turned off I would have cut that date short actually if you want to sit there and talk about my ex the whole time we would I would have made up some type of excuse okay that day would have been cut short So let's talk about Vince and Tamika. Vince goes on a date with Christina. So Christina's a cute woman from the Caribbean and I love her accent. They both are photographers so they have something in common. So way to go with this date match. Uh, they're, they're both creative people basically. 
So Tamika is also going on a date and her date arrived and Vince could not take it. So she was on her date with John Marco, how he says his name. So they both went to Clark Atlanta, so they also had something in common. However, he's an older guy, so he seems to be much older than she is. So John said that he does not do drama, so don't have your man looking for him, period. And Tamika gave him the side eye for that comment. You can tell that she was not very pleased with that comment that he made. Not sure why he said that. Maybe he felt threatened by the fact that, you know, he picked Tamika up and, you know, she already has a man. So maybe he felt like, you know, Vince would be stalking him or something. I don't know what the hell he thought. Like, that was real far left to me. It had nothing to do to with you guys' conversation, okay? So we get to the sit down with Dr. Nicole. Michael said that he enjoyed his day with Whitney. And it was getting intense. She also liked him. And Shay ain't feeling that. Mike said that he has a lot in common with Whitney. He goes tit for tat, y'all. Dr. Nicole asked Shay about her date. And she said that it was really nice as well just like Mike said his date was nice so Mike was starting to get jealous guys you know first he was unbothered he seems like he's starting to really feel the heat um so now that Shay has been dating other people this is the attention that Shay has been waiting for Michael has also been being more affectionate with Shay and maybe it's because he feels like he's losing her to another man, okay? Which is very possible. We never know who, if anyone is going to connect with someone or if they're going to put a ring on it. Tamika. Let's talk about Tamika. Tamika said that her date did a lot of talking. John Mark was a great listener. And Vince also had a great date. So, Mike and Tamika had an argument 10 minutes before the group meeting because Tamika asked Vince a question and he assumed that she didn't trust him again. She said she was just simply asking him a question. And he assumed that she was, you know, going back to the throwing in his face about how he cheated on her. Tamika got upset. She said, after all of this, she's not going to say F else to him she's done with it dr nicole asked hollywood how was his day he said that she had more booty than his other days and that that's really his preference hollywood said that his day kept asking about ashley like i said she was asking about ashley as if she wanted ashley more than him so ashley said that her date was handsome and Hollywood, of course, was sitting there rolling his eyes because he did not like the fact that Ashley said that he was nice. Her day was nice looking. Ashley said that she likes her date and the fact that he was playful. Same as she is playful as well. So they connected on that level as well. So Dr. Nicole asked Hollywood, how did Ashley's date go how did it make her feel exactly and it made hollywood feel sad to hear that ashley really liked her date so he was feeling a little jealous tamika's date she said that there would not be a second date she has no chemistry with him so Vince said that he wanted to go on a second date with his blind date. And Tamika was not, although they was arguing, she said after she still was feeling some type of way, knowing that her man was on a second date with someone else. So Mike wants a fourth date with Whitney. What? So you were on date number three, date number four. I feel like y'all dating now low key. All these dates, like that's going to turn to something more careful okay tread lightly 
Shay wants a second date as well with Rick just because Mike wants a fourth date with Whitney. Hollywood was asked would he go on another date and Hollywood said that he doesn't want to go on another date. Ashley was asked if she wanted to go on another date with Kwame and she said yes she would like to go on another date with Kwame and Hollywood got mad and he cursed. He said that if Ashley goes on a second date with someone else she's cheating on him. He really didn't appreciate the fact that she was going on another date because he's been turning down his chance for a second date because he felt like he would be cheating on Ashley if he go, goes on more than one date with someone else. And he said that he does not want her to start liking her dates more. Okay, guys? So he's starting to feel a little insecure about his woman going on blind dates and one second dates with another man. And he has a right to feel that way. So, guys, that is the end of my commentary. I will see you guys on the next video. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like by hitting that thumbs up. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And comment down below. And check out my other playlists, guys. I have several playlists that you may be interested in. And I will soon start back doing my political commentary. I have not been doing it in a while. And I will also start back doing my celebrity uh, commentary as well for my celebrity gossip and I want to start bringing some more things to my channel guys I have not decided yet also be sure to check out Chantel's home cooking guys I have another YouTube channel where I do nothing but cooking on Chantel's home cooking make sure you go over there and subscribe as well this is the month of December and I usually post videos quite often um i try to get them out every other day if um i can in the month of december okay however like i said i'm in the process of moving right now so the first few weeks i would not have as many videos loaded to my cooking channel however i will do a mass load which means that i will load probably like five or six videos within a day okay to try to get caught up so do not forget to go over there and subscribe as well to Chantel's home cooking and also subscribe to this channel sip and review and you all have a blessed day bye now